Morning, welcome back. So you know how we've evolved into a world where anyone can become famous overnight? A few viral posts and a micro following later, you're acting like a D-list celebrity in your hometown of 500 people. Kaylee Ann Smith's $20 burger will obviously be comp for one Instagram story post that gets deleted after four hours. As humans, we all have an ego and a tendency to think we're more important than everyone else to some extent. Influencers have a bit of main character syndrome, I'll admit it. When I go to a grocery store and ask for a plastic bag, they tell me they stopped with plastic three months ago because of the law. Uh, do you know who I am? <laughs> I need them so I can use them as small trash bags for my tiny garbage cans. I mean, it's not like the turtles are going to use them. When you're living a chronically online life where the serotonin and clout gets drip fed to you so you keep coming back, your perception of what's normal and acceptable gets all warped. Just look at the out of touch celebrities that think the average person's salary is six figures. More like six fingers for counting how many groceries you can afford. It's one banana, Michael. What could it cost? $10? With social media, at least we can connect with people all around the world without having to see them face to face. Speaking about mental health and being able to share your struggles with strangers is strangely comforting. Some call it trauma dumping, some call it free therapy. Relatable lifestyle influencers call it gaining an audience. When Beauty Guru 115 talks about how terrible real life events have affected them, it's not just so their fans can sympathize and connect with their favorite creator, but it's to sell skincare, baby, and profit from dystopian capitalism. If you're not monetizing your suffering, that was the point. Brands are flocking to influencers like seagulls at a crowded beach. They can smell the potential money they can make through their little bird noses. Quick warning, there is mention of some triggering stuff for the next bit of the video. That thing that happens at schools in the US way more than other countries, I'm sure you know what I'm talking about. But if not, we're talking about America's obsession with the right to bear arms and not the limb kind or the bear with hairy arm kind. But just wanted to let you know so you can do what you gotta do to keep yourself healthy. I have never gotten so much whiplash from a TikTok before, and I didn't even see it on its original platform. It was a Twitter video of a TikTok riff from TikTok posted on Twitter. It starts off pretty normal with an overused royalty-free song and an influencer doing their aesthetic little activities, as they do. And you would never guess what she's about to do. So in countless obstacles of me this year, from a school to having no idea what life is going to look like after college. The first time I heard this, my head did a full 360 like an owl when it sees a rat jumping around looking for a food. We're not even 5 seconds in, and I'm already concerned about how loaded those statements were. There's not even 1 minute of footage, so I'm gonna be pausing a lot to dissect this. I get it, picking a college is hard. How are we supposed to decide, as teenagers, what we're gonna do for the rest of our lives? Seems like a bit of a design flaw. But you know what else sucks? Hiding in my classroom, fearing for my life. This is why I hate Mondays. And in no way am I making light of the situation, but the unseriousness of talking about these two things in the same sentence, it's kinda like, pick one or the other, man. These two things are not the same. Let's not normalize this thing that happens way too often. This is not normal. Even for American standards, where you can come out of a Walmart on a Friday afternoon packing heat. Thanks for having me, Gun and not the Dorito sweet chili heat kind. You really gonna talk about these two things with the same urgency like it's a daily inconvenience? One of these things is not like the other. Well, actually make it three. Supportive Mental Health Awareness Month, I'm partnering with Bior Skincare to strip away the stigma of anxiety. We want you to get it all out. Not only what's in your pores, but most importantly, what's on your mind too. Strip away the stigma of anxiety? Oh man, I'm actually a little disappointed because that is a good tagline. And for what? For this? Strip away the stigma of anxiety. Props to the underpaid intern that probably wrote that. Biore, you were so close. First of all, who is on the marketing team and why are they not marketing? They took a look at this and approved it. We got it. We did it, Jill. Gen Z and teens are gonna relate to this so hard. We are goat. This had to have gone through at least a handful of people, right? If not more. Especially with Biore, they have the budget to hire people. This is what happens when all parties working on something are out of touch influencers and middle aged adults, desperately trying to relate to the young people through their phones and social media. The blame's on the creator for sure, but not all of it. We don't know the behind the scenes. Biore could have told her to talk about the specific thing to seem more relatable, and they said it was okay to post. Then again, it's not like they held her hostage and forced her to do it. You can walk away from a bag. There's there's always opportunities for influencers. Look in your inbox right now. I guarantee there's at least one sketchy tea brand and a startup trying to convince you to start an NFT collection. I will never forget 
forget the feeling of terror that I had walking around campus for weeks in a place I considered home. Do things that make you happy and know everything will work itself out. Do you ever hear someone speak about a traumatic situation and try and sell you beauty products at the same time? Are we all just gonna be robots fueled by capitalism in 2024? Speaking like you have capacity for empathy will be a thing of the past. And the music choice? I'm getting a lot of mixed signals here. Will everything work itself out? I don't think anyone in a situation where they could end up not alive anymore thinks of themselves. Everything will work itself out. Maybe they're just having a bad day. Eat a Snickers. Everything will work itself out. Sounds a lot like thoughts and prayers. There is some speculation in the comments that she wasn't even there when it actually happened, which makes sense why her cadence is like someone presenting the contents of a phone book in front of the class. But that is just a theory. I literally know nothing about nothing than what this 50 second TikTok showed me. Anxiety in my life has come in waves. I found myself recently struggling from seeing the effects of gum firsthand. Y'all journal in your cars like this with the door wide open in the most uncomfortable position possible? I've only journaled like five times in my life and all of them were hunched over like Quasimodo in his dark tower at 2am under a lamp. It might be the skeptic in me but aren't you afraid of thieves? and getting robbed, I will clutch my phone like this when someone jogging passes me by. I can't be chasing someone down in this day and age. With my knees, this girl's Honda Civic is a few button presses on a PS5 controller away from getting Grand Theft Autoed. Also, I know that writing doesn't work this way, I think, but that notebook she's been journaling in looks awfully light and empty. Did the Biore nose strip remove the words off the paper too? And before you think this is a parody or some sort of social experiment, surprise, she went private after posting this. Nah, don't go private, you're so attractive, ha ha ha. Oh no, don't cry, you're so sexy, ha ha. Quick update, she did go back to a public account and also apologize for the Biore ad. So do what you will with that information. It's not a time to go send her hate, but we can talk about it because what even happened? Nothing helps PTSD more than a Biore pore strip. Incredibly American core. It's tricky trying to balance influencer and brand relationships. You're both just using each other for monetary gain, but at what point are you willing to sell your dignity? Everyone's got a price, even me. That's why we're sponsored by this. Use my code evasion for 1% off. I saw a comment on Twitter saying this reminded them of when Disney made a 9-11 PSA. And after watching it, these two things definitely give off the same energy. You express themselves every day on Disney Channel. It does help to talk about September 11th because you know, you get it out of you and you get to be heard. It was such a traumatic event that, I mean, how could you forget? I think communication is very important. I was important. just about to say that. If you had heard me last year, that's all I would have been talking about. I talk with my- This is- so weird. I talk with my family about it a lot and my friends. Tamir and I, we talk about it all the time because it's still on the news. I think it's very, very important for you what to just express your feelings about- How about we focus some of the budget to picking a song that actually fits the topic we're talking about? I'm not sure what I should be feeling right now, and neither do these actors. Talking about it and processing your emotions is fine. Disney Channel, express yourself. Not sure what these vanity shots and staring longingly into the camera are doing for anyone. I think it does help to talk about it a lot because even though it was a year ago, it seems like it happened yesterday. Um, what is this? You know the ones watching the Disney Channel are mainly kids that probably barely even know what happened? They just wanted to see Lizzie McGuire get up to no good. Mom, what happened to the TV? Speaking about being out of touch and delusional, privilege is something that you're born with or something you acquire when you become rich and famous. If you do acquire privilege that way, let's hope your brain is fully developed before you take on that responsibility. Like we have 16 year olds becoming millionaires with the fan base of the capital city. Of course we're gonna have influencers with inflated egos that thinks the world revolves around them. Here's the full video of when my Uber driver kept coming out of the car because he did not understand that I only leave my apartment the aesthetic way and don't don't walk out if there are other people next to me so I had to wait until it was clear.
All that to serve water for the table? You know Uber drivers can rate you too. I wonder what her rating is. I could never inconvenience random strangers like this. I feel like the majority of people are like that. One, because it's embarrassing. Even vlogging in public seems weird to me. I've done it before and the lesson I learned is that no. No one asks to be on camera and to hear my internal monologue of what I'm doing. Some people are just walking here. If she was in New York, even the rats would push out of the way. She also caused a lot of commotion at a restaurant because they got her order wrong, and not in the way you'd expect. The egg was not on the salmon. So can I please get a new one? I don't want to eat it. Can you leave already? Why are you even here? You're joking, right? I can't make this up. Why is the egg not on the salmon? You guys can see clearly that I'm not making this up. Like, I can't make this up. Do you guys see this egg that's not on here? We, we can't, sorry. We are too busy to educate this. I'm sorry. We would have to ask you to Okay, so I ordered a salmon benedict, which the egg clearly is supposed to be on. And then why is the sauce even on the side? Like, it's supposed to be on top. Can I just speak to the manager? Like, I'm so proud. I am the manager. I really don't know who hired you to be a manager, but I can clearly see that you are not, you know, the right person for this job. I'm gonna try to put this on. If it, like, opens on the way, I'm literally gonna have to ask you to bring me another one. Oh my god. Okay, it's breaking. Can I get a new one? Sorry, yeah. Can I please get a new one with like a new plate? It's to be aesthetic for my story. Because I'm honestly not eating this until you bring me a new one. This has to be satire. Now I'm having a hard time believing this is real. But I don't know. Some people in the world are literally oblivious to everything. You could hit them over the head with a rake and they think it's raining. Also, the food's just gonna turn into the same brown colored mush once you eat it. The egg's gonna fall off the salmon anyways. If you have complaints about a restaurant and you know you're just an awful person, I'd really recommend not asking for another plate of food and just go home. Cause you know why? You ever see that movie with Ryan Reynolds when he's a waiter? There's a chance your next plate of food could have extra add-ons that you didn't ask for. Spit. I'm, I'm talking about spit. It's the entitlement and treating people like they're less than you. You're just being a nuisance to the general public. Prank channels, why? Dancing in public, why times two? You ever see those videos of James Corden blocking an entire intersection so he can dance? Similar vibes, this one's not as bad since she's not obstructing the whole street, but it is just as hard to watch. Being embarrassed is one of the worst emotions you can feel. You think you'd forget something that happened 10 years ago when you were a young, cringy teenager. Well, here's a fun surprise at 1am when you're trying to sleep. Being able to do this with no self-awareness is a superpower. Dance in a park or Go home. Yes, I'm sure you have followers, but I'm pretty sure 99.9% .9 of the people at Costco aren't your followers. But going back to the first influencer we saw that made a pretty distasteful ad about blackhead removal, in general, talking about mental health and sharing your struggles is a good thing. Just keep in mind that brands and influencers are mainly driven by money. And maybe don't use trauma to sell poor strips. They are already traumatizing as it is. Like have you seen those blackhead removal videos? Sometimes I get into a phase and I'll watch 10 of them in a row for no reason. 8pm, a glass of wine on the couch in a robe, the perfect way to unwind. Help the YouTube algorithm yank off its Biore no strip by giving this video a like, leave a comment for engagement and clear skin. I'll see you on your recommended. Have a good day, try not to be dumb and see you in the next one.